Now, the first thing you might think of when you hear Titan for NVIDIA's latest graphics card is it must be absolutely huge. Whoa, look how big it is, whoa. Actually, it's not that big. So the Titan is compared to previous generation GeForce graphics cards like the 680, which was up till now the highest end single GPU Kepler card is pretty much the same compared to a last generation dual GPU card, the GTX 590, it is, uh, oh, is it shorter? Is it shorter than a 590? It is shorter than a 590. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's shorter than a 590. When we go way back to the launch premium Fermi card, we find out the Titan is exactly the same. But how does it compare to other GPUs that you might have in your system just for comparison's sake? So this right here is a reference GeForce GTX 650 Ti. Yeah, that's a 650 Ti, right? Yeah, it's a 650 Ti. So this guy right here is only a mere da, 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 six inches long. So by comparison, the Titan which I'm going to swap out right here. Actually, you know what? Let's have the Titan here for comparison with everything else. So that's a six inch card. So you want to check your case because the Titan is going to fit as long as your case accepts GPUs that are 27 centimeters or 10 and a half inches in length. So here's a six inch card. Okay. Here's a 560 Ti reference card for comparison. So that right there is a nine inch card. So you can see there's an extra inch and a half here. I'm just gonna bring out the 680 again. So the 670, remember, is the same length as the 680. So actually the Titan is a touch longer than a 680. I was wrong about that. So the 680 is a 10 inch card and the Titan is, as we measured before, a 10 and a half inch card. Finally, the 7970, which is the closest thing to a competitor for a single GPU card from the Red Camp is 11 inches long. Now this was a funny decision that AMD made because you can see right here, the PCB is not actually 11 inches long. The PCB is only about 10 and, wow, look at that, 10 and a half inches. So it could have easily been the same length as the Titan, but they opted to go with an extra bit of plastic on the other end, which was a very odd decision. So it's a single GPU card that has a PCB that's as big as a 690 or a 590. Why did they do that? Well, a couple things. So it has six gigs of memory. So it's loaded up to the nines with memory on this side and on the other side. It also has one of the large, well, no, the largest GPU with 7.1 billion transistors ever made. So you're going to have to have a very complicated power delivery system in order to make sure that that bad boy stays fed. It has a beastly cooler. So you can see there's a huge aluminum fin stack both on this side and this side, which is over top of a vapor chamber. And last but not least, why does it need that complex VRM? Uh, that's for GPU Boost 2.0, which dynamically adjusts the voltage, the fan speed, and the clock speed of the card to hit various targets, which are actually user definable on this particular card. So what would it look like in a small chassis? Because one of the great things about Titan is it actually performs better and runs quieter than GTX 680. So this is what it would look like in the kind of enclosure where you might often see a GTX Titan. This enclosure accepts up to a 280 millimeter card and you can see Titan fits in there just nicely. This is an ITX case and I think that pretty much wraps it up for our physical size look at the GeForce GTX Titan. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer... Oh, I forgot something! Whoa, 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 we were almost... Oh, yes. Ah, okay. So when we're talking thousand dollar video cards like the Titan, then we have to start talking about other super uber expensive video cards, like say for example, the Asus Ares 2. So this guy right here is a liquid cooled dual 7970 gigahertz edition card that comes with an extra radiator and is, as you can clearly see, much larger than a Titan. So if you're concerned about a Titan fitting in your case, you better be really concerned about this guy. It's almost a foot long right there. It is actually taller than a standard board. So a standard board would actually be only about uh, four inches high, whereas this board is five inches high. So there's a full extra inch along the top. Plus it requires a radiator 
to actually cool the dual GPU. So that's a thick single 120 millimeter radiator. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips because we will be testing the Titan against the Ares 2 to see who is the king of the ludicrously fast, expensive GPUs, although probably more appropriate test would be two Ares 2s versus three Titans, because that would then be about the same price. I don't know if we can get our hands on three Titans and two Ares 2s, but yeah.